Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this 3D cube totally in After Effects. Now, this doesn't look that great at the moment because it's all one color and it's pretty hard to notice all the differences. But as you can see, while rotating a 3D camera around, you can see it's a cube with no gaps. So, let's get started. Go Composition, New Composition. And we'll just call this Cube Tutorial. And I use 1280 by 720, which is 720p for YouTube, and make sure square pixels, 24 frames per second, and 10 seconds will be plenty. So what we'll do to start off with is just go Layer, New Solid, and make this a background. So just call the Layer Background so you know what you're doing. Just make a, a kind of grey colour, and make Comp Size. So now I've got this perfect layer. So pretty much what a cube is, is it's six two-dimensional surfaces all placed together in 3D space to make it look like a 3D cube. So what we need to do is make six identical 2D surfaces. So go Layer, New, Solid. And we'll just call this Cube Surface. And we'll make it, say, 300 by 300 pixels. Square pixels, and we'll just change this to, say, blue just so it stands out from the grey background and click OK so now that's 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels high so now what we need to do is duplicate this six times so highlight your layer and press Control D six times and yeah so now we have six identical 2D surfaces if we go layer new camera we can just grab our camera so we can rotate around and see what's happening what we need to do is make these 3D so we can position them and rotate them in 3D space. So just highlight all of your layers and go to the 3D option which is under this little 3D looking cube and make sure it's ticked for all of your cube surfaces. So now pretty much if we get our 3D camera, press C and bring up the orbit camera tool, we can pretty much rotate around this but it just looks like a flat surface at the moment and nothing too exciting is happening. So now what we need to do is rotate and position all of these. So what you can do is just position them manually and go back and but that's going to be very fiddly and it's not going to work out very well you'll be able to see gaps. So what you can do is highlight all of your surfaces and press A to bring up the anchor point. Now as you can see they're 150 by 150 which is the center of the cube. What we can do is change the z-axis to 150 as well. So now it repositions the layer so it's offset by 150 pixels. So now technically if we just rotate all of our surfaces around on the axis, they should pretty much rotate perfectly and make a cube. So if we press R on all of our layers now to bring up the rotation options, and we can just minimize the bottom one because we need one surface to stay where it is. Now if we go to the one above it and go to the Y rotation which rotates it around this way, we can set it to 90 degrees and then set the next Y rotation on the layer to negative 90 degrees and then set the next one to 180 degrees. So as you can see it's looking pretty good. We've got a cube here but if you look really carefully there's a very slight gap. If you noticed on my intro there was a pretty heavy black glow around the edges. This was to cover up those edges. So you can just kind of reduce the anchor point and play around with it until it's perfect but I just used a glow because it kind of looked cool and just helped cover it up. So now we've got the bottom and the top one to do. So just rotate the x-axis 90 degrees and negative 90. And now we've got this perfect three-dimensional cube. If your cube is all one color like this, you won't notice those little gaps. But if you, say, had different videos playing or all different colors, you probably will notice those gaps. So you can either just play around or, yeah, do the glow technique. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If it helped you, please check out my other tutorials and subscribe. But thanks for watching and I will see you next time.